Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor today's video being Vessi. So Vessis are my everyday shoes, seriously. I take them in all kinds of conditions, like today at the beach, whether it be in the park, my day to day, they really are the one and all shoe. One thing I love about Vessis, they're 100% waterproof. Yes, 100% waterproof, and that is with their Dymatex technology. So whether you're out on the beach, waiting in the water, or whether you are, let's say, testing it in my kitchen like I did, you can seriously see the water just run off the shoe, beads like a duck, and it remains 100% dry on the inside, and that to me is super important when you're having a versatile shoe. Vessies are also sustainably made, which is really cool. They're also really good for dual climates, such as like here at the beach, and then cold Canada. And they're really easy to keep clean. What I put these shoes through, you know, the fact that I can just basically rinse them off at any point is uh, super, super convenient. So if these are my go-to shoe by the door, so check them out using the link down below and use my code JHANSEN to get $25 off your pair of Vessies today. Hey everyone, Joel Lancer, and today we are at the Seafood Shack in Morel, Prince Edward Island. Here to do a massive fish and chips challenge. That's right guys, I love fish and chips and this place is very well known for its fish and chips. So today we're gonna have what I believe is eight or nine different pieces of fish. And these are big pieces, like seriously, they're like sitting at like 10 ounces. So we have that plus a whole bunch of fries. So fish and chips, very suiting. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if we eat it, we're gonna meal for free. I'm gonna get some more details. Um, I think there is like a 30 minute time limit on this as well. I need to clarify that. Um, but anyway, let's in, get some food. Um, and uh, that's about it. Like I'm super pumped. I haven't had fish and chips in so, so, so long. And I love fish and chip challenges. So let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. I love ketchup and tartar sauce. I love fried fish. I love everything. Let's go eat. All right, Ross, so here we are with the fish. It looks absolutely delicious. So we have eight, yes, eight absolutely giant, giant, giant pieces of their hand-battered secret recipe fish here. Looks very delicious, smells very delicious. Have some house-made tartar sauce as well. People literally buy this stuff by the jar. Of course, I have my good friend, Mr. Ketchup. And I also have, I forgot to mention this earlier, a cup of their famous lobster chowder. So this lobster chowder is award-winning all over the place, as well as their lobster rolls and their fish and chips. So I'm very excited. These are also PEI potatoes, um, but that's about that. So we might as well get started here momentarily. I'm very excited and uh, it just looks too good. So let's get eating. I definitely think I need luck for this one. Uh, but that being said, I'm so excited. It looks so delicious. I'm definitely gonna get me a ketchup pile. Uh, the lemons are not required too, by the way. So I move a couple of those. Although people do love lemon and fish. I myself really love ketchup and tartar sauce. So there we go, I got a nice big pile right here. Um, and that, wish me luck. Might as well get started. Oh, and the, uh, the value of this, we're sitting at about $80 if we can't complete it. So, here we go guys. Here we have lovely looking paddock. So let's get started. How we say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Nice crisp to it. Definitely a unique taste in batter. I've never had what like a batter tastes like this before. Ooh, that tartar sauce though. Dill. Definitely lovely, lovely, lovely dill. Hey everyone, welcome to Zoodoo, where today we're here taking on a giant fish and chips challenge. Yes, yeah, so it's actually been a long time since I had a fish and chip challenge. They're very hard to come by, but what a more suiting place than Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island, if you're not familiar, is an island on eastern Canada, and of course it is surrounded by water. Big piece of fish too. Mm. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, this is absolutely giant, heavy. Okay, I will say, some people don't think ketchup on fried fish is good. You gotta try it, you can't knock it till you try it. The batter's like a little bit of sweetness on it. Pairs beautifully with that tartar sauce. 
So the challenge itself was comprised of the eight pieces of haddock, totaling um, about 80 ounces, which is a crazy amount of fish. Then all the fries. Um, we had a big thing of house-made tartar sauce there as well. Try my favorite combo, tartar sauce, ketchup. It's a beautiful day. Although the tartar sauce was not mandatory, it was just there for my leisure. And then uh, part of the challenge, we had the lobster chowder. Yes, the bowl of, or the cup of lobster chowder. Um, so like I said, really was enjoying this fish. Um, it had a very unique kind of batter to it. It has a secret ingredient in it, which I've never kind of had on a fish before. Um, so it was really interesting. It's kind of a, well, I'll tell you what, the best way I can describe it is saying, just go try it. Just go try it, stop on by, um, see if it's Jack, try it for yourself and you'll know what I mean. That is a very meaty haddock, very delicious. The house sweet tartar sauce was super delicious as well. Super like just very, very strong herbal notes to it. You know, it had a really nice dill aspect in there. Um, it, I, I do love a tartar sauce and ketchup combination um, and mixed together was so flavorful. Every bite was like a, an explosion in the mouth, um, which was really awesome. Cause like generally you don't get uh, such a good tartar sauce. Of course you have the french fries with the chips. Nice crisp with that. Yes. Very good tasting. I wonder if they're fried in peanut oil. I almost got like a nice peanut taste. Mm. And when you're on PEI, you've got PEI potatoes, and these are PEI potatoes. PEI is famous for potatoes, but not familiar. For the actual weight of this challenge, I'd probably say it about seven-ish pounds. I mean, you roughly had, um, you know, five pounds of fish, and then, you know, plus the french fries and the chowder, we'll say seven pounds. Um, so definitely a sizable challenge. I think the timeline made it quite difficult, definitely kind of like an expert level. Um, but that being said, you know, if you want to stop on by, uh, I definitely recommend ordering a meal like this with your family. I'd never recommend anybody actually try to eat this much food in a single seating. But um, yeah, definitely stop on by, try some of their fish and chips. And like I said, then you'll really get to experience what I mean with that batter. Like I said, that batter is like none I have ever had before, but make sure you definitely get some of that uh, house-made tartar sauce. The house-made tartar sauce is definitely um, and a good, good, good addition. Gotta re-up on that ketchup. Yeah, very delicious, very much enjoying it. Whew. I'm really impressed by the fries as well. You know what This is awesome. I have to give a huge shout out to the staff here. Um, here at the Seaview Track, everybody is very, very friendly, very fantastic. So definitely uh, stop on by. Do, are the fries done in peanut, peanut oil? No. Really? No. I get like a really nice, almost like peanut flavor. I have a lot of people that say they, they are fresh are the best. <laughs> so that's good. I like them. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's Whatever they're putting on it, it tastes good. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I like it. But that, I believe that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Pretty straightforward. Um, you know, again, a great big platter of fish and chips and or fish and fries. Fish and chips, I guess, from my understanding, is like it has an English origin um, where they call French fries chips, which essentially all they're just trying to say is it's fried potatoes, which, I mean, French fries are fried potatoes, so I'll give them that. Um, but that's about it, everybody. I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully we can also finish. Um, but comment down below. What do you eat on your fish? Again, I use ketchup and tartar sauce. Some people like lemon, some people like vinegar. Let me know down below. All right, I think we're about six minutes in. The fish is all gone, but it's very good. Let's go work on some of these french fries. Or it's chips. Chips if you like to call them chips.
They're actually hot. That fish really insulated the heat in them. Probably just over 10 minutes in. Heating up. Woo! It's a lot of food. That being said, very delicious food. Still got a burp. Now we just have the lobster chowder, which I'm very excited to try. So let's give this a taste. And then we got haddock, scallops, and lobster. Oh man, woo, creamy, that is rich. Tastes like the ocean. And the best way possible. Huge scallop.
Yeah, this is a heck of a chowder. Very rich, I'll say that, very, very rich. Very filling, woo, and hot. But really is very good. We are finished. Ooh. I think somewhere around 12 and a half minutes, maybe? 12, 21. About 12, 21, 12 and a half minutes. Very, very delicious. This is like, I can't say enough. The fish and chips was super unique. Like I said, never actually had a fish batter taste like that before. Oh, excuse me, I do not use a secret recipe. So I don't really, excuse me, there's that burp. I don't really expect to know what's gonna be in it. But if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. No, seriously though, that, that when it comes to the chowder, the chowder is fantastic as well. Like I said, award winning. It was very, very good. If you're looking for like, like I said, just a luxurious taste of different seafoods, I definitely would recommend. Um, so that, that's about it. I mean, we get milk free, which is pretty cool. Absolutely love this place. I think my absolute favorite. Um, you know, again, I, that lobster, no, I never tried lobster chowder. The fish was great. I've also had a lobster roll here. The lobster rolls are just absolutely to die for. But that that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been great to be back on PEI. I've loved it here. The scenery has been gorgeous. Um, you know, it's really something like when you you live in a place for a while, I don't think you appreciate it the same as if you leave and come back. So coming back, PEI is beautiful. Morel is beautiful. And anywhere in the area, you definitely got to make a trip up to Seabit Shack here. So everyone, until next time, of course, have all that. Have a great happy eating. And that, that's about it. Just live your life. Have a lovely day. Come to Seabit Shack. Hi everyone, I couldn't help myself. We got one of their famous strawberry shortcakes. So this is a more traditional East Coast, old fashioned strawberry shortcake, where there's actually a biscuit in here. Often now it's made with like an angel food cake or something similar. So we got biscuits, we got like a lovely like strawberry kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't want to call it jam, but like puree. See here. And then whipped cream, all house made. So let's give it a try. Oh man, woo, okay, that is delicious, that is just, oh my gosh, that is actually way, that is, oh boy, all right, mind blown, that is, yeah, just, that whipped cream is fantastic. Strawberries are super sweet. The biscuit provides a really nice texture. And it also isn't like additional sweetness. So you're really getting the beautiful flavors of that strawberry mix. That whipped cream. That is just too good. I may have gotten two. It was that good. Damn them. I am I'm super impressed. Oh man. Yeah. Another must try. This is just yeah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. If you had to come here and get two things, I'd do a lobster roll and dessert. Strawberries right there. But if you can do four things, a lobster roll, fish and chips, a lobster chowder, and the strawberry. Too, 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 too good. Alright, that was absolutely amazing, so, yeah, I can't say enough, this is definitely a hidden gem, out here in Mora.
And here we are at the Charlottetown waterfront, specifically I think it's called Victoria Park. Um, and uh, it's very gorgeous. Check this, uh, check out this sunset. How you doing? So here it is just absolutely very stunning, very beautiful. It's been a long time since I've been downtown Charlottetown here. It's cool to be back, it's been so long. I, uh, I did my undergrad here, the university looks very different too. But uh, here with good friends, we got Mr. Mr. Douglas. Douglas is from Brazil. Say, uh, say hello in Portuguese. Olá pessoal, tudo bom com vocês? Well, there you go, for everybody in Brazil. Obrigado. But uh, I'm a good friend, Mr. Stewart. We're kind of parked here illegally, so we'll show you some other places. But look at that sunset though. Last time, it's, it's actually literally setting as we speak, but absolutely gorgeous. And here we are at the Charlottetown waterfront. Very, very gorgeous down here this evening. Smell the ocean, you can smell the ocean. They got a big 2021 number sign over there but yeah just very beautiful down here sun is pretty much set but uh gorgeous very beautiful things are happening things are opening and it smells like the ocean and here we are on university ave so last time i was here that used to be a subway on mary brown's chicken after blaze pizza i went to the university of prince Edward island here but holy crap they're putting in these new massive buildings those are very much too uh big new constructions which were not there when I was there at all. There's the old residence, the old meal hall. That would have been funny. I don't think it'd be open, but I'd love to go into the meal hall for one day and just like, I used to eat a lot of food in there, right? Like, they knew that I would like to eat. So that'd be like a funny video, like uh, all you can eat at a university food hall or something. Um, because my, my food hall was like an all you can eat, like you had an admission and then it was just like all you can eat from there. There's the gym to go to. I used to live in there too, uh, Brown's Court, um, a very like student area. Uh, this part all looks pretty much the same, which is, you know, pretty, oh, we got that all turned out, there you go, it looks better, looks better, uh, which is all pretty funny. We'll see this little stretch at University uh, Ave. Um, spent many a times, many a hours, many a trips driving up and down this street, I'll tell you that much. Uh, that is new, that new road inlet there. I don't have any idea where that's going from. Uh, let's see, Alumni Hall is still there. Uh, yeah, I guess that Starbucks was there right when I was leaving. Gas stations, this, this part all looks about the same. Uh, yeah, this is all the same since the last time I was here. So, and you speaking of which, I wouldn't mind a drink. Probably should have tried to pull in the Walmart down there, but okay, so this part looks pretty similar. Uh, up here, up there has grown a little bit more, but this area is all already pretty much like established, I'll use the terminology, because this is like a built up um, area before, so obviously it's more of the less built up areas that have changed, so there you go, there's my there's new, oh, that looks new actually. There you go, here's the new and old uh, with Joel Hansen, University Ave. And this is kind of what PEI is known for. Green, um, rolling hills, there's some rolling hills over there. Uh, just kind of scenic, obviously the beaches and the water, which the beaches are very pretty to look at. They're very aesthetic. I don't think they're overly great for swimming with the exception of a very few like very warm days. Water stays generally cold uh, in the Atlantic, at least as far north, but kind of a lot of green and then again like rolling hills which are kind of behind some of these trees. It is scenic. And as we are leaving the island and we are about to pay to leave the island whole $48.50. Yes, that's right, folks. Remember, the bridge to leave the island. You can come on the island for free, but they will charge you a whole $48.50 to leave. So let's pay and look at that, look at that. See them prices right there? Those prices are crazy. And then about again, a 13-ish minute drive. Goodbye, PEI. Goodbye, island. It was nice to see you. Until next time, it may be another few years, maybe a little while. And here we are, heading to the mainland. I know we weren't perfect, but I never felt this way for no one.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right. Click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, helps you out. Then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos. Yes, that's right. Two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now. Get that going. And it's going to end. So click one quick. Let's go. Let's go. And have a great day.